Welcome to another video from the farm. Now today's video, I'm going to be making a mobile solar powered water pump. I'm going to try and build one of these. The first thing you're going to need is a box with some wheels on it or a little trailer maybe, wheelbarrow potentially, something that you can move around anyway. And then inside there you want to start off getting your batteries. Now I'm using a 24 volt system and a 24 volt pump so two 12 volt batteries connected together there so that is now a 24 volt battery and then you're gonna need something like this now this is a 24 volt boat pump you can get these for relatively cheap on the internet because they're widely used lots of people have boats and they want taps in their boats so yeah get yourself one of them and then we're ready to go start plugging bits together now now I've got the batteries in the box, the next step is to wire up this solar charge controller. Now this was like about £6 I think off eBay. It's a 24 volt one, a 20 amp one. These are getting so cheap now, every time I go on to look at these they're just getting cheaper and cheaper. Same with solar panels, isn't it great? Right, so you want to mount that to some sort of wood block in the top of your box ideally, because if you do get any leak off your water pump, which we're going to be putting in the bottom there, it will uh, save it I guess, because little hole in the corner which I'll show you when we put it in will stop any kind of flood in here if you do get a little bit of a drip off your water pump right let's mount this Awkward with the left hand. There we go. So the next step, hooked on my little battery cables that are fabricated here. Got some old ends, another bits of cable. Positive, negative. Now I'm just gonna run those around the edge of the box to centre bit there which will give the solar charge controller the, the voltage that it needs to operate at for receiving the, the power from the panels basically. Right, plug this in. So I've unmounted this a second, as you can see working 25.8 on the batteries. I've got some little holes here and here pre-drilled ready to mount the pump. I'll just show you the pump while getting it together. Now as you can see this is a C flow 24 volt pump it's got these handy little things for hooking on pipes and stuff to it and these are really good as you can see oh dropping stuff it comes with this little pre-filter I'll show you there on the end it shows you in out little arrows there it comes with this handy little pre-filter so you literally you just squeeze in until it pops in like that and then Click that in. That's it done. That's the connecting connection on. Now you just jubilee clip your pipes on to either end, and it's uh, ready to go. Which plug it in. Right, I'll mount this in. Get the pipes on. So this is it. All wired together and switched on. Solar panel, 255 watts going in. And actually charging, we've just ticked up from 2.25.8 uh, to 25.9 there as I walked around. As you can see it's fairly quiet. Pumping real well. Now, let's try and see. There we go. That's 100 metres away where the well is. And look at it squirting out of there. This is one of the more powerful versions of this pump so it's like it is overkill for most operations but I've got this one preempting using it to pump water all over the farm from the the well house basically but this similar setup is perfect for any kind of application where you need to pump water around whether outside or inside inside a cabin on a field even a proper house 
even a camper van, anything really, this is perfect for. So literally, you just need a water tank, which I'm using this big rainwater tank over here. Sucking it out of there, pumps through here at 60 psi, which is above most houses' pressure. My house is only about 35 psi. But yeah, this 60 psi, as you've seen. 100 meters uphill, no problem. And squirting out. Obviously, this is a completely mobile setup as well. Everything's unpluggable, got the MC4 connectors there, so you can literally unplug the panel, unplug the hose, pack it all away in the box, and then just take this box wherever we want to go, carry the panel separately. Well, this pump is designed to go static inside a boat. That's why it's got these rubber feet on it that are anti-vibration, keep it even quieter. Because obviously, if you have got this in a cabin or in a boat or in a caravan, it's, uh, yeah, noise is going to be big time one of your concerns especially if you're in a metal box <laughs> but uh, these fittings as well this is obviously just for uh, hose connections on there but you can get the same fittings with the little pop-in connectors there that actually have screw fittings or push fit footing, uh, push fit fittings on them which obviously makes it easy to plug into a main system as well which is what I'll be doing this little project didn't take very long at all it probably took me about an hour to sort all this out so it's time to crack on with the well now, get that sorted. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time.